my beautiful YouTube people. I owe you a big apology. Let me tell you why. But first, as my ADD kicks in, let me show you the beautiful street that I'm on right now. Look how pretty it is today. I love fall colors. I miss summer, but that's pretty. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> squirrel um the reason i owe you an apology is because a i recorded this video like oh gosh three weeks ago maybe maybe four i was in quarantine uh, after coming back from the states and i just never got to finishing it so i apologize for that second reason that you're gonna find out very shortly is when you're watching the video i was in my car and I had the air conditioner blowing on myself so my phone was in front of the air conditioning vent and so noisy <laughs> so my phone was on the air conditioning my phone was on the air conditioning vent and um, it just sounded like for the whole time and it was awful so Props to anybody that sits through this entire video because it sounds really bad that the audio quality is terrible and I forgot to record the ending so I am in a different outfit at the end um, and I'm in a different outfit right now because I felt the need to explain that the video wasn't very good so all kinds of terrible but um, I figured I'd do a third review third review <laughs> for you just as my way of saying sorry sorry about that so let me review I got this at I believe Walmart in Pittsburgh it is crush I'll take a video or a picture of it uh, facing the right direction because it's backwards um, it is crush water flavor pineapple I got I believe grape pineapple and I can't remember the third flavor but pineapple I'm all about pineapple I love pineapple flavor Sometimes it gets super, super chemically, but this one is like drinking the juice out of the bottom of a pineapple tin. So it was super good. It's really, really strong. So normally I put um, my water flavor in like a big shaker cup like this one. Um, and it's usually just strong enough. This one was like overpoweringly strong. Not overpoweringly, but quite strong. So I could probably stand to do like half of a um, container of half a packet in one of those big shaker cups, which is great because it means it's gonna last you a really long time. So um, yeah, I do recommend if you like pineapple, this is just so, so yummy. And it's gonna last you a while. It comes in packs of six, uh, five calories per packet, uh, two grams of carbs, no protein, no fat. So pretty healthy it's pretty good for you if you're wanting some uh, low-cal uh, sugar-free water flavor I would highly recommend the crush um, any of the flavors seem to be really really good the grape was really tasty as well And so now, as promised, I will go into the original video that I recorded in my car with the terrible audio and the poor sound quality. So be prepared. I warned you. I'm, I apologize. Enjoy. <laughs> well, hey there. <laughs> haven't done a food review in a really, really, really long time. So hey, everybody that I haven't seen in ages. I just did a uh, my first pro show. So I competed out in uh, Pittsburgh and got first place. Yay. Um, ate so much garbage the day after that I just don't want to see sugar or chocolate for a really long time. So I got some healthier treats uh, that I am going to review for you. And for anybody that's looking forward to like chocolate, uh, garbage, junk food treats reviews, those might be coming later, but that's not this one. <laughs> So here is what I've got coming at you for today. It is Jack Link's Bacon Jerky Thick Cut Hickory Smoked. Um, 
I don't think we have this in Canada. If we do, I apologize. Uh, I've never seen it before, but then again, I don't really spend a lot of time in the beef jerky section. Um, saw this at Walmart in Pittsburgh and I uh, was intrigued. So here we go. I'm starting to get really sunny. So I'm going to try and whip this off before the sun gets a little too crazy. Um, first thing I noticed about this, it is really rubbery. So, you know, bacon that's undercooked or cooked not crispy i prefer crispy crispy bacon um, i know a lot of people don't but that's what i usually go for is when it's like kind of charred and crunchy this is soft <laughs> take two <laughs> so um yeah it's really rubbery it is very thick and uh, it does look like a big piece of undercooked bacon so um yeah no not my thing i like my bacon to be just crunchy crispy um like bold in flavor this stuff is really gristly i found it was really hard to chew you chew like 53 million times and just end up swallowing like a gristly ball of bacon into your stomach so the flavor is really good. It's like a hickory. It is a hickory smoke flavor. It's not overpowering. So it's not crazy, crazy, um, spicy or hickory bacon, bacon taste. It's like a nice mild, um, smoky flavor. Definitely very, very smoky. So the flavor is delicious, but the texture just bleh. So for anybody that likes undercooked bacon, I know there are a lot of you out there, um, then you might want to go for this. I had some steak bite um, jerky. I think it was teriyaki steak bites and they were like thicker pieces of meat and really soft. Like they dissolved a lot better when you chewed them. Um, those were really tasty, but this stuff I would not get again and I'm not going to finish the bag because it's just the texture and the consistency just isn't for me. Way too chewy, way too mushy and... Um, flavor is good but texture no <laughs> okay here we go with review number two and I'm really regretting not running a brush through my hair before I recorded this but anyway um review number two I got some uh, water flavoring I got actually a lot of water flavoring on this trip so uh I'll show you the one that I am going to review for you now this one is the Skittles Zero Sugar. There are four different flavors, grape, green apple, orange, and strawberry. Which one should I try? So I just tried the grape. I had tried green apple before, and the green apple one, and this is gonna sound really stupid, tastes like green apple Skittles. So if you've ever had Skittles before, they're kind of um, not, like it's not a tangy, sour apple flavor. It's kind of like super sweet, sugary, but of course there's zero sugar in it. So you get your sweet kick without the calories. Um, I really liked the green apple one. And the grape is, everybody likes the purple drink. It's, uh, it's really tasty. It's I'm not gonna say it's like Kool-Aid cause I haven't had Kool-Aid in a really long time. So I'm not, really sure what Kool-Aid tastes like anymore but um, it does taste like like Skittles so not like a Jolly Rancher it's not going to be that super overpowering like Jolly Rancher flavor that can be like a little bit um, tangy almost this is more of a sugary sweet so I have learned a couple of things since the filming of that review video. Uh, number one, don't put your phone in front of the air conditioning vent when you're sitting in your car doing your food review with the air conditioner blowing because <laughs> half of that video just sounded like <laughs> So I apologize. Everybody that sat through that, you are the real MVP. Thank you for that. Thank you for staying with me. Number two, when somebody calls you and like you're, you get distracted and you go do something else, make sure you finish the video <laughs> because I just noticed that I was like talking about food jerky and water and then I just kind of stopped <laughs> and I was looking for the finish. I was looking for the end of the video and I don't know if I recorded it and just didn't save it or if I just never recorded it, if I just got busy and did something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I like I never finished so I, I was kind of done anyway I just never wrapped it up so 
here we are wrapping it up. I could probably review something else here just to give you my sincere apologies that I didn't finish properly and that the whole video kind of sucked. <laughs> but thanks for sticking with me and um, here we are wrapping it up now. <laughs> Till next time.